Hi, my name is Jan Bühler and I'm working in TGS. And unfortunately, I got this marvelous Land Cruiser 76 stuck. Okay, the situation we are faced now with is called uh, cross axle issues. The main problem is that the vehicle is equipped with a front differential and a rear differential. Now the question is, why do we have a differential? A differential, first of all, is here to bring the power from the engine towards the differential and to distribute it left and right to the two wheels. So why does it start spinning? Because the differential has as well a second function. When you do a turn and you have to turn, imagine these are your two wheels. So you do a turn, the outer wheel has to travel a far bigger and longer distance than the inner wheel. The inner wheel has as well more resistance. So the differential will now send all the power or the majority of the power to the outer wheel with less resistance. In this scenario here, the differential thinks, ah, great, he wants to do a turn. Therefore, gives more power to the wheel with less resistance. This is why this wheel here is spinning and the other wheel that has perfect traction doesn't get any power. The same is happening on the rear differential and on the rear axle. So therefore I have here on the driver's side the wheel spinning and on the back on the passenger side, meaning that the two tires that have grip on the road do not get any power as the differential is doing its job. Okay, the solution now to our problem is called differential lock. So what does a differential lock do? It's an option that is retrofitted on our vehicle and the differential lock will now, as the name says, lock the differential and put equal power to both sides. So it means that the, the tire that is at the moment spinning loosely will receive part of the power and the other 50% will go to the tire that has more resistant and grip at the moment. Once we activate the differential locks in the front and in the rear, we will just drive over this obstacle with no problem. Okay, as I mentioned before, this vehicle is equipped with pneumatic differential locks, which need to be activated over these three buttons. The first button activates a compressor and then I can select the front and the rear differential locks to lock the differentials, which will allow me to overcome the obstacle. Okay, we have now engaged the differential locks. I'm gonna go in low four, second gear. While we start to accelerate, the power will go evenly distributed between the two front wheels and the two rear wheels. So as you have seen, we overcame the obstacle with ease. Now we can take off the differential locks, take the compressor off. That's an option that has been retrofitted onto the vehicle. Um, it is a very useful and suitable tool. And as I said, it can be, it can be offered or purchased with the vehicle. Thank you. Bye bye.